Hi, it's Mark Homan from Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. It's day 80 of our Be Creative series. And I got these roses for my wife a couple days ago. You saw the beautiful image I did on it, very close to emulate the artwork of Georgia O'Keeffe. Well, today I'm more inspired by Elliot Porter and Ernst Haas, two greats from the late from the mid 1900s, 1950s to 1970s, that did amazing close-ups, but not super close-ups. So I've got the 105 macro lens on my Z7 with the ProMaster uh, macro slider, and I'm actually gonna back up. So the picture I'm gonna make tonight, you could actually make with a regular lens, with your 24 to 70, with your 18 to 55. All the way zoomed at 55 or 70 at the minimum focusing distance about two feet. I just like the extra control of the macro lens. So here I'm back. I've got about five flowers, five roses in the picture. Concentrating on the color and the swirling. It looks like these little vortexes down there. And now I just need to adjust the, co the, the composition to make the composition look right. So most of the light is coming from the light from the window. And you know I love the soft window light. I threw a little bit of light from the Savage LED to light my face so you can see me. So I'm just adjusting the composition, adjusting the focus. I'm at F8, gives me about a quarter of a second exposure right now, and I'm making the picture. I've got about four flowers in the image, and that's a cool image. And now I'm gonna slide with the macro slider in coming a little bit closer, and that's the advantage of the macro slider. I've got two flowers in the picture now, and I'm gonna focus. It's beautiful, the light is gorgeous and soft and awesome. Now, one of the tricks that I'll tell you is when you're doing close-up photography like this, you always wanna focus on the close item. So I'm focusing here on the closest flower and letting the background go out of focus. And you're really gonna like that technique. I've got the camera on manual focus so I can focus where in the rows I like. Remember, aperture priority F8. Now I'm gonna stop down to F16. My exposure is gonna be one second. I have to hold super still. I'm using the touch shoot on the Nikon Z7, right? So powerful, these new cameras. I, I just can't even think about going back to the old days of manual exposure and bellows extension factor and all those things that I would have to figure out to do this shot. It's beautiful, right there in focus, bam. Powerful. Now I'm gonna go back to F8 just to see what it's gonna look like. And now I'm gonna open the lens all the way up to about F5. It's about as wide as it'll go this close and shoot. That's the power of being creative. I use the works Ernst Haas and Elliot Porter to give me an idea, to give me a vision. And I went and made that happen. Use that vision, study photography. Come to the Creative Photo Academy and help us, let us help you boost your skills and your creativity, because that's what it's all about. I'd like to see you pay, post your favorite, hashtag Paul's Photo, hashtag Creative Photo Academy, and hashtag we're all together. Because in of 80 days of photography, which one is your, the, is your favorite? Which one is your best? Let's see all those pictures and we'll share them together. We'll do another video tomorrow. It'll be a bright sunny day. Life will be good. And with the camera, we're being creative and staying safe and making great pictures together. Mark Homan from Paul's Photo, the Creative Photo Academy at the Lab at Paul's Photo, wishing you good luck, great pictures, and have some fun. And let's take some pictures together.